My country people them, today na Wednesday the 10th of July 2019 and I want to bring to you now a report where it come out from Great Britain, from the United Kingdom, where it been made by this news channel where they call them Sky News. I go talk and give una my commentary and my observations and my opinions at the end of the video. But first, una listen. Soldiers move in to secure the area whilst we're kept at a distance. They check each classroom to ensure no militia is lying in wait. Schools are on the front line of this independence war in Anglophone Cameroon, and they're often used as hideouts by the fighting groups. What most aren't used for is learning anymore. A whole generation of Cameroon children are being denied an education. It's been disused for so long that they've actually got plants now uh, growing inside. That's how long children haven't been able to be taught at this school. Inside, soldiers check out what looks like a store, which they suspect may have been used to hide weapons. The last lesson in English is still on the blackboard. In the Anglophone areas of mainly French-speaking Cameroon, they've been fighting to keep the British curriculum installed by their former colonialists. But teachers and their children have been swept up in an armed conflict which is becoming ever more brutal. What have they exploded? Yes. A car? Yes. Roadside bombs are now being used by those demanding separation from French Cameroon. The movement, which began as a plea for more autonomy, led to the declaration of their own country of Ambazonia, with their own flag, and has morphed into what looks like turning into a savage civil war. Much of the learning has been forced underground. Studying is done furtively now, like at this secret school, where they can barely remember life before the insurgency. Do you miss it? Do you miss school? The separatists have banned education in government schools, and those flouting their diktats face imprisonment, torture or death. An age is no barrier. The army says this seven-year-old was hacked to death, his school uniform enough to earn his killing. This head teacher paid with his life for opening his school. Others have been beheaded. Another who's been a teacher all his life has given up after his family was kidnapped and held for ransom. Right now, I don't feel safe. I'm scared. I'm scared. If they even find you moving, loitering around the vicinity of a school, you are a target. You are a target. Mary, not her real name, was also a teacher. She's now retraining as a tailor after being hounded out of her home with her two children. Before I even came here, I thought of giving up. It was like I should just go and commit suicide. Because I did not see any reason of living. About 80% of the schools here aren't operating, and tens of thousands of people have fled the area. We've been given special access to the Cameroon military, who say much of the chaos is due to the separatists. As they have seen us, someone can take his mm -hmm. gun and shoot even in the air. Mm. But the military have responded to the independence movement with heavy crackdowns and are accused of burning down houses as well as schools themselves to try to crush the insurgency. Those fighting for separation have their own anthem inside the former British territory they're now calling the country of Ambazonia. And they want Britain to sit up now and take notice. This was created by failure by the United Kingdom to transfer sovereignty uh, uh, to the people of Ambazonia. It was created by the failure of the United Nations to oversee the implementation of its own resolutions concerning coexistence with Cameroon. And they have sat back quietly as hundreds of thousands of our people uh, have been displaced internally. Some have moved over to Nigeria. Their actions at this particular moment is too little, almost too late. And the international indifference means hundreds of thousands of children are being denied an education. Mary's eldest is one of them. When was the last time you went to school? I don't know. Did you used to like school? Yes. What did you like about it? I 
Versailles Côte and Lund. The future for children living here looks grim, and right now few outside Cameroon know about these atrocities or appear willing to do anything about what's happening here. Alex Crawford, Sky News, in the Anglophone area of Cameroon. So my country people, them, I will give you a bit of a background about this story. So the lady where it presents her, he named her Alex Crawford, and he been one of the world-renowned correspondence the way it don't actually cover these kind of stories them in the past so not expert in the field it don't actually work with the cameroon military before in the far north time where it be covered the boko haram fight where cameroon will be get him against um boko haram in the far north so no matter the first time this way it work with the cameroon military also i want to understand say this so sky news now one of the largest uh, broadcasters them in the world they be owned by company what they call them b sky b and in the uk i think after the bbc they've been at the second largest broadcaster if i'm not mistaken so now a very big company world renowned a reputable uh, source of information this way when i get them and they don't actually send their correspondent on the ground and a team of staff and experts on the ground inside cameroon for go witness where where they happen for themselves so that they feel report to the world about the 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 uh, way, to way they actually trespass or way, or way they go on for the anglophone region as we speak so the thing way i want me to pay attention to now the fact say the international community it actually gain notice to wait where it happened for Cameroon. The international attention, it don't actually start come now for Cameroon. When big multinational uh, media corporations them like Sky News, they don't start to pay attention that they uh, send because for send a team into Cameroon cost millions and millions of pounds for them for come for their, their welfare, anything can happen to them. They need to get insurance and all those kind of things. Them. So it means that the world, it don't start to pay attention to wait where it happened inside Cameroon. And as I don't listen to that report, the woman, that the second report this way, Eddie Mecham, about the Anglophone region, the first one, it posted them two days ago. When I go on YouTube, on their YouTube page, on their YouTube channel, they call them Sky News, and when I go see the report where it make them about Cameroon a few days ago, and this one where it released them yesterday. So, when I understand, say this, so these Ambazonians, them, they talk today, so they want independence. They want free we from so-called colonization or slavery, as they talk. But, as the international attention it come for Cameroon now, the, the international media they can't report na Ambazonia atrocities them because this one way they stop school picking them, they no go for school. Now actually one of the crimes against humanity, where when they target small picking them, kill them for the crime of trying to get an education. When they target teachers, civilians them, kill them, beheadings on the streets, rape, torture, burning people's properties for the crime of just trying to get an education and for improve their own personal circumstances now what this way it happen and as the international community it pay attention to what way it happen inside cameroon now so too they go pay attention to the fact say will be under a terror attack from the amber boys and the amazonians because me wanna understand today so the cameroon government it been a legitimate legal government where it be recognized by every single other government on the planet Meanwhile, the Amber Boys and so-called Ambazonia are not recognized by anyone or any organization on the planet. So by default, any action where they take them against another legal recognized body, it would be na an illegal action in the first place. So for them, for, for, for the work at Toxic so they want independence. They want me international community. It can't give them independence or whatever nonsense that they talk about. It is just, I, I don't even understand. It is just so laughable because in the first place, they don't can't see them for themselves. They get cameras, they get phones, they get uh, uh, electronic equipment, the way they, they do their own homework, their own research for gather the evidence, and then they go broadcast them to the world. Let the whole world know what is going on in Cameroon. And that the evidence, this way, they can't show them for the world. When the atrocities them, and now one of the things in this way, I don't actually see how the Cameroon government, it don't start kick into action. They kick into action now and I love it because the, 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 the lazy people the way they day inside Cameroon government, they don't actually start do, some of them, they don't start do their jobs because this is a brilliant idea to give exposure to what is happening inside Cameroon to the global community because when we light the light, oppression, sunshine, now for the way cockroaches, they go scatter. If we only talk today so, will be under terror attack 
and then we don't let the international community know. They don't go believe what we will talk if we don't show them the evidence. So we will invite them. So as the Cameroon government it invite the American Congress del uh, delegation, they come for Cameroon, they come for a fact-finding mission. They can't see the atrocities that for themselves. They, they talk to the witnesses, to the victims, and then they understand, they get a greater understanding of what way it happened inside Cameroon. And the Cameroon government now it be open to the international community to come in and witness what is going on on the ground for themselves. Now, for they, they will come. When will I come on the ground? When I for Kumbo, for Kumba, for Bali Kumbat, or for Wusa, when I go, when I go see Cameroonianness. So this Ambazonian nonsense, now a tiny, tiny minority of idiots and failures and frustrated people, them, where they there for one man country, where they know that they work at Dushitology. Their lives a bit hard for one country. They turn around, they're looking for someone to blame. They start blaming we for Cameroon, and they, then they decide for can't destroy everything for Cameroon. Some of we way we don't work hard, we invest for for Cameroon. Now the one can't destroy at all because they did not get no investment inside Cameroon of their own. So now wait this way they happen. So the Cameroon government a need for mash fire with this strategy. Bring in every single international news organization. Pay for their flight. Pay for their hotel. Give them the security where they need them. Maybe they can't report what the way it they happen inside Cameroon. Let the world know. Because these Amazonians, they get this dementia. I don't mean that dementia. I mean this delusion for their head. They be, they be delusional where they think there's so some, some magic way, some magic will happen and then international community you can't divide Cameroon into two or whatever nonsense they believe in that their stupid head. I don't understand because it no go ever happen. So what the way the Cameroon government need for do now for continue the mash fire for this strategy for for or for do operation sunshine let the world know let the world know that our children cannot go to school because of Ambazonian terrorism let the world know because when the world they can't see the reality on the ground for themselves even some of the international pressure where they put them on the Cameroon government it could begin to make sense for the because people they go adjust the way way even if we want to criticize Cameroon government because yes Cameroon government it get a lot to be criticized about but then they go understand the situation before before they make public comments or before they want to criticize the Cameroon government, at least they could be well informed about where to where they go on on the ground itself. So let us all share this story. Let the world know. When I go watch the Sky News, when I, when I share that with our friends, and then when I Cameroon government will invite even more delegations and from the African Union, from the United Nations Human Rights Commission, from everywhere around the world. May they come inside Cameroon. Any person where you get any nonsense for talk about Cameroon, come to Cameroon and have a look for yourself. See what is going on. We will escort you. You will talk to the victims and themselves. If you want to go talk to the Amber Boys, then feel free. Go into their camps. Them. Go hear the answer of the story. If they're not behead, we no, I mean, Chris Anu will be talking today, so they, they, they don't turn now the United Nations now the enemy. Maybe they destroy all United Nations property inside Cameroon. No, I mean, the Eric Tato will be talking today, so maybe they catch all foreigners inside Cameroon, maybe they kill them, so maybe they garry them, say, say that they are, they are right. So there is no way. Now, 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 first of all, one of the reasons that way it be against their own self interest for the stupid things the way they don't talk, because now they don't make an international community, not even get dialogue with the Amber Boys on the ground, forget their own side of the story because they don't say they're terrorists. They don't go anywhere near them. So when the international community comes into the ground for Cameroon, they go only talk to one party when they want to get some kind of level of sanity, when the Cameroon government, and then it will only take the story from the Cameroon government their side, and then it will broadcast them, and then we will shine light for our own side of the story. So many Amazonians continue there on Facebook, they will spread their propaganda. No one is going to listen to them. As long as we get our own story out, we we'll get the international community to come in. Any news agent on the planet, where a one come for Cameroon for a report about this story. As long as you go be fair and balanced, and you go, you go if anything we wanna want see them, we go show una. When I want to talk to the victims them, we go take una to the victims them. When I want to see the schools the way they don't burn them, we go take una to the schools them. When I want to see the roads the way they don't destroy them, not just pictures or videos. We go take una to the roads them. When I go see them, if when I want to go to the amber camps, feel free. We go call the amber generals them. If you be prepared for go meet up them inside their camps, make video, go and meet them. That is perfectly fine. So let the operation sunshine begin my country people them